Uxbridge by-election, the ultra-low emission zone, that apparently being the tipping factor in the Conservatives retaining that seat, that seems to have shaped an awful lot of the politics that we're going through at the moment. I can't quite work out whether politicians not being green is a good thing or politicians trying to be green is a good thing. You've got Simon Clark, Redwall Tory MP, uh, saying that his constituents want investment in the green economy. You move a few seats along the Conservative benches and I'm sure you find someone saying exactly the opposite. They are completely divided on it and it's not actually as constituency based as you would think. There's a slight sort of caricature that up in the so-called Red Wall in the north of England there's all these sort of neothandral people who just think that like climate change is all made up and blah blah. It's not like that no, at all. Not. Endless polling and focus groups shows that people are just as worried about climate change in the north of England as they are in the south of England. However, there is definitely an issue around affluence. You don't tend to see lots of very, very expensive as they still are, electric vehicles driving around the more deprived neighbourhoods of this country for obvious reasons.